Can your contract require that the couple purchase wedding cancellation insurance? Find out in today's video. Hey out there, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Rob and I am a wedding industry lawyer. And in this week's video, we're talking about whether or not in your client contract, you can require the couple to purchase wedding cancellation insurance. And before you say anything, I am phoning it in because we covered liability insurance and whether your your contract can require clients to, to purchase liability insurance last week. So if liability insurance is what you're really concerned about, check out video 87, or actually, I don't know if I'm numbering these anymore. If you're listening to the podcast, it'd be episode 87. But if it's the video that you're wanting, just, I don't know, click on a thumbnail or something. I'm sure that it is around. I am wearing a different shirt though. So, in, but for purposes of today, we're talking about wedding cancellation insurance. So the type of insurance that a couple would buy, not the professional, but the couple would buy that protects the couple if they cannot go forward with the wedding for reasons, some reasons within their control, some reasons outside of their control. So for example, um, if the couple or one of the one of the couple is in um, the National Army Reserves or whatever, and they get deployed, or if grandma dies, or if there's some type of force majeure event, that is what the wedding cancellation insurance policy is designed to cover. So in other words, you are you, can you tell the client that they need to buy that for themselves for your event? Now, the short answer is yes, you can you can do that because contract, I mean, a, a client contract is not just, you know, the client is only obligated to give you money. You can require the client or the couple to do many things, not just pay you money. They can, um, they can be in charge or monitor the behavior of the event guests, for example. You can put them in charge of that and make them legally obligated to do that. So I don't want you to think that your contract only obligates the couple to pay you money. Like you can make them do other stuff as long as it's legal. You can't make them buy or sell drugs or murder somebody. It's got to be within reason, right? So making them purchase as a uh, an obligation to contract with you, that insurance, absolutely. In fact, uh, before COVID, it was very common. Now, what about now? Is it common? It still could be common. And I, I don't know right now, I haven't done a lot of research in the past six months, but um, there weren't a lot of, or not any, wedding cancellation um, policies that covered COVID. However, you can still purchase wedding cancellation, although there you it might be difficult to find them that cover COVID, but they still cover all other manner of uh, happenings, for example. So it's still a possibility to get wedding cancellation insurance, although whether or not it will cover COVID or COVID-related things, who knows? But at the end of the day, yes, you can require the client to do that. But again, um, that cancellation insurance is something that is completely separate and apart from general liability insurance. In other words, the type of insurance that kicks in if somebody is injured. Cancellation insurance typically is just only what we've described. If the, if the wedding can't go forward and the couple is going to be out a whole bunch of money and deposits and such, that's what the cancellation insurance covered. It's not liability insurance. So um, what I would recommend that you do is I have a video, which is four, um, four ways to make your force majeure stronger, your force majeure clause stronger. Um, and the reason why I want you to go watch that video is because one of the things that you should do is have the client acknowledge that if force majeure prevents the, the event from going forward and the client doesn't want to reschedule, then that's on them. And that be based on that, based on that contractual language, you recommend that they get cancellation insurance. So at the end of the day, you can require them to get it, but if they can't get it, you can at least have them acknowledge that, that, that's something that's recommended that they do in today's day and age. They need to take some type of precautionary measure to protect themselves and protect their deposits and protect the money that they're investing 
um, if something does in fact go wrong. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, <laughs> new videos regarding all things wedding industry law every Monday. Um, if you have a suggestion for content, please let me know. Be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment. Um, do you require your clients to have cancellation insurance? Let us know. And with that, folks, we'll see you next time.